This week's video is a simple AHA body lotion. Okay, so first of all, a few considerations before we start working with the AHA. Excuse my voice, I'm not very well this week, <laughs> so you have to put up with that. AHAs are alpha hydroxy acids. They're naturally occurring acids that are found in uh, fruits, milk and sugarcane. They're commonly used in skincare because they exfoliate dead skin cells. So some ex examples of AHA are glycolic acid, lactic acid, mandelic acid and citric acid. Um, they're good for brightening and smoothing the skin. Don't confuse them with BHAs, beta hydroxy acids like salicylic acid, as those are best for oily skin and clogged pores. The alpha, alpha hydroxy acid that I'm using today is a natural source of alpha hydroxy acids and it contains lactic acid, glycolic acid, citric acid, malic acid and tartaric acid. Uh, it's water soluble uh, and a clear liquid and we'll use it in the cool down phase. There's a few things you need to consider when working with the AHAs. Um, if you're new to them, then start with 1% and work up to 2% if you're using it in daily products. If you intend to use it weekly or bi-weekly, start with about 1% and work up to 5% maximum. Wear SPF uh, while using alpha hydroxy acids as your skin will be more exfoliated and a bit more sensitive to sunlight. Note that the higher percentage of uh, alpha hydroxy acid used, the higher the chance of your lotion thinning. Now, some fragrance oils can also do this as they do seem to react and this can actually also cause splitting. So when making this formula for the first time, I advise omitting the fragrance oil that I've included. Find the perfect consistency for you and then test again and add a different fragrance next time. Don't use AHAs with other exfoliants as they can be a bit too harsh on the skin. Right, let's get to the formula. So here's the formula and recipe for a 100 gram batch. You'll see I've included xanthan gum. Uh, this is to thicken the product a little bit to counteract the thinning from the AHA. The more AHA you use, the more xanthan gum you might want to include to thicken the product. So first we'll take our distilled water and our vegetable glycerin and we'll just pour the vegetable glycerin into the water. I'd actually recommend doing this the other way around, put the vegetable glycerin in the larger beaker and pour the water into that because it's much easier to get water out of a beaker than it is glycerin. Um, yeah, I always do something the wrong way around. Anyway, mix that up till it's fully incorporated and the water's clear. And then we can move on to our next phase, which will be our oil phase. For our emulsifier, I am using Ecomulse. It's a really nice feeling, moisturizing, plant-derived emulsifier, and it helps viscosity and provides a moisturizing powdery feel on the skin. Then I'm using Camellia oil. It's a super fast absorbing, lightweight, non comedogenic oil that helps to nourish, moisturise and improve the texture and elasticity of the skin. Then I'm using argan oil, a beautiful non-comedogenic oil that is said to help with signs of ageing. It's hydrating, nourishing, brightening and evens the skin tone and it improves fine lines and wrinkles. And then I'm using cocoa butter. I'm using unrefined. It's rich in essential fatty acids that nourish the skin and provide a long lasting hydration. It doesn't feel greasy or sticky and creates a protective barrier to lock in moisture. So we're going to mix those together. I don't know why I mix them before heating, but I do. I just like to combine them a little bit. Um, and then we're going to take both of our phases. And what you need to do is weigh your water phase, including the beaker, um, and take a note of that. And then we're going to move over to my pan. This has got about one to two inches of water. And then we're just going to place our beakers in the pan 
to gently heat them until the oil phase is melted and both phases are around the same temperature. Once your oil phase is melted, you can take these off the heat, reweigh the water phase and replace any water lost to evaporation. And then we can pour our water phase into our oil phase. See, I've remembered to put it in the right size beaker now so I can actually fit my stick blender in it. And then you're going to stick blend it. Just a little stick blender that you can get on Amazon is fine. I should actually have one below, I think. And you can just mix that until it reaches emulsion. It will be quite thin at this stage. Now, you'll know that your mix has reached emulsion because you'll take your stick blender out and have a look at the mixture on the end of the stick blender. And you'll see, like just here, if it isn't separating on the stick blender, then you've reached emulsion. And you can stop blending because you don't want to create loads of air in the product. Take the temperature, I recommend a digital thermometer. Again, I think I've got one link below. And just read the temperature and you want to wait until this comes down to 40 degrees C or less before you add your cool down ingredients. So we'll just give this a stir per periodically because it just helps to shuffle the heat around. Now, this is the alpha hydroxy acid I'm using. It's natural. It's made from oranges, lemons, sugarcane, and blueberry, natural occurring alpha hydroxy acids. It's a clear liquid. Uh, it should go in the cool down stage. Um, and it's just a really, really lovely exfoliation product. So that's going in our cool down phase. Now, I think this should be ready now. I have sped time up a little bit. So take the temperature again. You can see that's below 40 degrees C now. Um, you can change these to Fahrenheit uh, if you buy one as well, just so you know. So now in the cool down phase, I'm adding Eco Silk. Um, this is a texture improving biodegradable vegetable emollient silicon alternative that aids the spreadability and makes the product feel more silky, lighter and less greasy. Then I added the AHA natural fruit acid, which we've already been over then my fragrance, um, then phenoxyethanol EHG, which is my broad spectrum preservative. And then I'm adding vitamin E because obviously this is an antioxidant and it protects the oil from rancidity and helps with cell regeneration. As usual, I normally add that to products. So add all of that in. Like I said earlier, don't add the fragrance oil when you first make it. Just make sure that you get the consistency you want first and then you can experiment with how the fragrance oils react because I did find some make it really, really thin, um, like as well as the AHA. I don't know if they're possibly reacting with the AHA. If you know, please comment below. This is a bit of an experiment for me. I did find it was more perfume dupes that did it. Um, so once you've mixed that up and they're thoroughly incorporated by hand, don't use a stick blender because it will incorporate more air. You'll need to check and adjust the pH. Um, it's recommended that you have a pH of about five. Um, this will ba be balanced for both the Eco Mols and the AHA. And it's also a nice pH for the skin. So then get your container. And you can either leave this to sit overnight to get its final viscosity and check for splitting, etc. Or you can bottle up straight away. It is easier to get in the bottle if you do it straight away. And just pour it in. Um, and then it will be ready to use. And you can use this because I've done a low AHA amount. This can be used daily. If you've done uh, five up to 5%, then make sure this is only a weekly or bi-weekly use um, and you do want to build up your tolerance for AHAs because they can be irritating if you've not used them before. Now I've just got these gold labels that I've had around for a little while so I'm going to stick one of these on even though it's tiny um, and that's the finished product and it's reasonably thin um, but like I said if you want a thicker product uh, you can add more xanthan gum you can add 
uh, more eco mulse. It's completely up to you, um, but it is designed as a lotion. Obviously, lotions are thinner than creams, so it's quite light when it goes on. I do like using it. Um, let me know what you think about it. If you have any suggestions for improvements or you've worked with AHA and you have any tips, then put them below. Otherwise, I'm going to go deal with my sore throat and uh, <laughs> I will see you next time. Please don't forget to like and subscribe um, and yeah, see you guys later.